Strengthening Synergy, the United States offers an TPS-77 Advanced Radar Grants for Indonesia and Malaysia. A flashback to 2016, when word got out that Lockheed Martin would offer a spy radar package for Kohanadna's National Air Defense Command. In fact, since 2010 Lockheed Martin Corporation's radar surveillance system has conducted several talks with the Air Force, including with KKIP, Defense Industry Policy Committee, regarding the possibility of technology transfer. So that the reconnaissance radar offered by Lockheed Martin could later be built by the domestic defense industry. About the type of radar offered for Kohanadnas at that time was the type in TPS-77, and FPS-117, which is a radar that has a role as a long-range air surveillance. And, long time no news was heard of the continuation of the offer, then recently news emerged that said, that the United States government would provide an TPS-77 radar to Indonesia and Malaysia. Quoted from Shefardmedia.com, said the U.S. government's system for award management on June 9 has released contract information worth U.S. $77 million for three and TPS-77 radar units. However, it has not been explained in more detail, how the distribution alias alias distribution of the three radar units, given the prize there are Indonesia and Malaysia. Granting defense equipment from the U.S. to countries in Southeast Asia, reminiscent of an earlier grant offer for Scaneagle Maritime Reconnaissance Drones, which would later be operated by the Navy Navy Pospinerbal. Scaneagle itself is given by the U.S. to Indonesia, Malaysia and the Philippines. The provision of this radar system is intended so that the elements of Hanad forces in Southeast Asia can monitor airspace and sea simultaneously and TPS-77 radar on the truck platform. For the United States, adoption of this type of radar has strategic importance, especially in dealing with escalation in the South China Sea. Among the concepts that emerge is the provision of C-3I command control communications and intelligence and sensor systems that can support air operations with the U.S. military. This solution gives partner countries a capability of mission capabilities that are safe, able to interoperate both in sovereign space, and provide connectivity and interoperability with relevant U.S. military elements. And TPS-77, and FPS-117, which is a radar that has a role as a long-range air surveillance. In terms of design, and TPS-77 is designed to be mobile and portable, including being placed on a truck platform, this radar mobility can also be moved with a C-130 Hercules-class aircraft. While an FPS-117 is the version of an TPS-77 which is designed as a fixed radar and placed at a certain point. Reportedly, which will later be given to Indonesia and Malaysia as a mobile variant TPS-77 MRR, multi-role radar, which is placed on a 6x6 truck platform. Radar and FPS-117. And TPS-77 adopts AESA, Active Electronic Elevation Scanning Array, technology with a frequency of 1215-1400 mhz. The transmission uses a solid state type with 19.9 kW radio frequency power. The antenna works with dual scan rate, 5 tenths or 6 twelfths RPM. What about the detection range, and TPS-77 radar with search elevation of minus 6 to 20 degrees and track elevation of minus 6 to 50 degrees, can sniff targets at a distance of 300 to 470 km, and a maximum detection height of 30.5 km. In terms of performance, this radar can operate optimally with an accuracy of 99.5%, while the use of this radar is up to 2000 hours. For the process of replacing and repairing worn parts, Lockheed Martin said in a release that it only took less than 45 minutes. So far there has been no response from the Indonesian Ministry of Defense on this offer of radar grants from the US. 
Looking at the contract period of work that is 48 months, 4 years, it looks like this spy-handed radar is not yet coming in the near future.